Hey guys, Drew Hernandez here with Real America's Voice. I am here in Arizona with the Republican Party's state, Nevada State uh, Chairman Michael McDonald. Michael, you just got done touring the Arizona audit floor. What's your reaction? I'm very much impressed. I mean, obviously, we have to give our, ha our heart and soul and thanks to Senate, uh, Senate President Fan, what she's done. It's been able. It's the most comprehensive. Um, operation I've ever seen. My background is in law enforcement and to watch the security measures that are taking place, the j double checkpoints to make sure nothing is done uh, improperly and to, to make sure that everybody is clear and transparent. I think that's the most important thing because we've seen across America that there's, there's this clog that no one wants to have a clear and transparency. They're always saying it's a fraud, it's no good, it's never happened. Uh, we just want everything out in the open. And when I'm talking about I'm talking for all Nevadans when I'm talking about it. Uh, this is about all Nevadans having an opportunity to look at what's taking place. And to see the operation here in, in Arizona, we want to duplicate that in Nevada. Gotcha. So some of the main criticisms coming from the left, the left meaning media, the, the, the fake news media, right? They're saying just what you said, the opposite, that it's, there's no security, it's, it's not tight, it's not being done right, it's incompetent. I mean, you Google it right now, all the curated search results when you put in Arizona audit, it's just all slander. It's all bad news, right? What is your reaction? Why, why are Democrats, why is the left so aggressive against a simple audit? Something that people should just be open for. I think when you look at that, that, that actually makes our argument and even people that are just common thinking. I mean, in talking to many people in my, in my state, the Democrats, independents, not just Republicans, they want to be able to say, look, this was a clear and transparent. What do you have to hide? And that's always been our question. Even to people in my own party that say, you know, we don't want to do this. But you have to have it. You have to be able to bring this out in the open, let everybody see it. If there's nothing to hide then don't worry about it but I can tell you the operation they have here uh, the security checkpoints I and mean, we went through three different checkpoints we had to go through COVID testing uh, we couldn't bring anything on the floor no papers no no electronics they they basically search you to make sure you don't have anything going on there they're doing it right and this is something that needs to be to be brought out to to actually justify what they're doing I love it and I'm a big chillier now for this operation that's why we want to do it in Nevada because in Nevada we had 122,000 anomalies that uh, our Secretary of State's trying to, trying to hide. Um, nothing to see here, as they say, but we had dead people vote it. We had people vote voted from vacant lots. We had people, multiple people from, from an address are all born on the same day voted. So there's, there's things that have to be brought out in the open, but they have to be explained. Gotcha. So it seems like Arizona's kind of set in the model, right, for different states, these swing states that had controversial election results. We all know, right? Um, what can we see coming from Nevada moving forward after your experience uh, and touring the Arizona audit? Well, I think, again, hats off to the leadership here in Arizona. Uh, the Senate, she, she's the president, she's done a phenomenal job getting this. But the teamwork that has happened here, I think it also shows what I love about Arizona citizens. The volunteers. There's just hundreds of volunteers that are going through there, they're, and they're they're not asking pillar, a party affiliation. They just have to be a registered voter. And make sure you vote in the last election. So I think that sets the model, that sets the tone for Nevada. We want to be able to say the same thing in Nevada, that we looked at all the problems we had, all the anomalies that took place, to make sure that it was a clear, a clean and fair election because it wasn't. They our state our state senators kind of said, well, there's nothing to see here. The state party kept digging, kept digging. Then the Secretary of State says this was the most clean and transparent election until we dropped off 122,000 anomalies. And then they only looked at 4% of it. At 4%, they found thousands of, of problems. So imagine what we're going to find when we keep digging more and more into it. But look, it has to be out in the open. It has to be for, for all Americans in Arizona and Nevada. We have to be able to say, look, here's the proof. There's a problem. We need to fix it. Last question. We had four years, right, of conspiracy theory, Russia, 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 rigged the 2016 election. That went all the way up to an investigation. It went, it led to an impeachment, an attempted uh, impeachment, which failed, right, against the president. It seems like the Democrats and the left, they had their way. They had their investigation, and no one was allowed to say a thing. Why is it that conservatives, Trump supporters, or anyone on the right, even centrists, people are just like, that doesn't look right. Can we look into it? Why is it that they get... Uh, accused of being conspiracy theorists. They, they get censored on the internet. How come they're not allowed to have that same right to look into their free and fair election? Why do you think that's happening in our culture, in our American society? And do you think that it's wrong and absurd? Well, it's an agenda. It's very wrong and absurd. I mean, listen, um, I, I come from a family of all Democrats. I mean, they're working class. They, you know, first immigrants, Irish American immigrants that came over. To be able to have that, you have to provide that same type of uh, of opportunity for all Americans and when they have the football and they're hiding you know do nothing to see here we don't want to have it this way but we always want to throw conjecture and throw everything at you it just 
for an average person is saying, you know what, this is wrong. And I think our messaging is re really starting to resonate. We say, look, everybody has to have this opportunity. You have to be able to get your message across so everybody has the opportunities to grow up in America. What they're doing to America is saying it's one-sided. It's not buying. And the media, uh, you know, it happened to me last week. They should be ashamed of themselves. And there's an old saying, when you're over the target, that's when you catch the most flack. That's why I know we're onto something here because, I mean, all the stuff they keep throwing at us and throwing at Republican parties in Arizona, in, in Las Vegas, in Nevada, in, 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 in uh, Washoe up there, we're over the target. And that's the problem. We're going to keep digging. We're not going to get uh, disqualified. We're not going to be uh, put out of, uh, of, of our operation by saying we don't like, they don't like what we're doing. When you have something, this operation, this is the most comprehensive operation I've ever seen in America. It's very transparent. Everybody has an opportunity to come look at it, to see it, to watch it on the internet, I found out. You can watch this operation going on right now. So for anybody to try and create doubt, you're lying. Gotcha. I have one question, because what you said really resonated with me. Our viewers, there are people out there that feel like they have no voice, right? The silent majority that woke up, right? And it's awake. It's awake. People feel they just feel demoralized, like their voice is being taken away. Do you have any words of encouragement to our viewers at home uh, that you know you can encourage them with right now that are just feeling that way when they're just sitting at home, they're watching the TV and they're like, I feel like there's nothing I can do and I'm looking to men like you uh, to actually be my voice. What, what, what do you have to say to those people that feel that way? We have a saying, ignore the noise and finish the mission. The noise is the media. You know, they want you to look at one thing. They want, look, just forget about it. Let's just move on. And I can tell you with the movement we had for four years with President Trump, the economy was very good. Families had an opportunity to, to move up. It gave minorities opportunities. Those things we don't see in only the short time that Joe Biden's been in office. So you have to be the patriot. You don't have to be out in the front lines, but you have to keep the moment and the movement going. You have to be able to be the person that steps up and says, I'm doing this for my family, that my children have an opportunity that I didn't have. Or more importantly, I'm going to make sure they have an America to grow up in. Not socialist, but a free and open America. Gotcha. You guys heard it here first from Michael McDonald himself. It's really hot out here. So, sir, thank you so much for taking the time and giving us this exclusive. I know the viewers appreciate it, and I appreciate it, sir. Thank you so much. It's my honor. Thank you so much.